Hey, look at us. We got the Extreme Tactical Sports Red Anodized Parts Kit. That's how you you know that we are brand new to AR-15. We have the red scope mount with the hunting scope, the red slot covers, the red angled foregrip, the red bipod. So here we go. Let's get replacing these. We're going to take off the hand guard and we using a pliers, we pull the E-clamp off the dust cover pin. With the hand guard gone, you can push back on that pin and slide the pin out from the back. Hang on to the spring so you don't lose it. Here you can see the slots for the C-clamp on that pin. Push your new pin through, line up your new dust cover, then get your spring ready. Thread it through slightly on the pin, push the pin a little through, and then wind at one time so that you have the right tension on it. Get your pin the rest of the way through. Using a pliers, you can hand, hammer that clamp down or a punch to finish it off. From here, you're gonna put your new hand guard on or the same hand guard in this case. Use some blue Loctite on the bolts so when you're out in the field, these don't work loose. As you're loosening things and replacing them, you want to make sure that everything gets tightened down just fine. Get your upper assembly popped up so that you can pull the old charging handle out with the bolt carry group. Then first put in the new red charging handle and slide your bolt carry group underneath that. Push them in together and then push the upper assembly down back onto the pan. Use a pin or a punch to push the mag release in and then from the back side unthread the old mag release and work in reverse for the new one. You do have to apply extra pressure to the side of the magazine release with a pin or a punch so that you can get it properly threaded and there you see it's working just fine. As you remove your handle for the safety selector, you're gonna know that there's a spring and a detent under there, so be very careful removing that handle to keep track of those parts. Catch that spring and then flip it over to get the detent out. Once that detent is out, you'll be able to pull out the old safety selector at that time. Thread your new safety selector in. This one comes with two Allen keys that we're gonna use some blue Loctite on so that, again, when you're out in the field, they don't loosen up. That'd be to have your safety selector uh, break loose on you. Once that's in, place your detent back in, then put your bolt in the bottom of your handle, and then place the spring in the proper location on the handle, using one hand to hold the spring in and the other to push the handle down on. Then go ahead and push that. They will all line up and tighten that down nice and tight. Test your safety to make sure that it is functioning appropriately. Here we're going to do the forward assist and we just got tired of videoing so now you have bad video on both the forward assist and we want to add some new red pins and a new red back plate so we'll show you removing the castle nut on the buffer buffer tube and we'll show you the pin on the back here of the buffer tube but again you just miss all these videos make sure your grooves on your pins line up make sure you get your buffer spring and weight back in there uh, you missed out on the front pin is what it is a brand new to ar-15 i'm loving the red color you may not you may be more traditional or maybe you're purple or blue who knows i enjoy this and stay tuned for more awesome videos from syrup dishes